Darth Vader number 44 recap, the Empire's B3 battle droids? Okay, so the issue opens with Farbarian in his new role as a lowly service desk job. Remember, he used to be an ISB captain, but got himself in trouble. Now working for the Schism Imperial, he has taken this low-life job, and he's getting his balls busted by his boss for finding someone important. And we realize that important person is this person named Baron Slandarv, and he's not too happy that Farbarian find him, kind of like a parking ticket. So he dresses him down, calls him a putt, says, you used to be in the ISB, now you're nothing but an assistant data processor. You loser, rips off his badge, takes his data pad, and essentially kicks him off the grounds, which ends up getting himself fired from his data processing job. So Farbarian Star has fallen greatly since his run-in with Lord Vader in the Schism Imperial. Speaking of those people, he does meet up with them after getting fired, and we start to learn a bit more about what Vader is up to with the Schism. You know, they still have the Markor. These are those rebel cyborgs that Vader got a few issues back during the droid attack and has implanted droid brains to control their organic bodies, which is so jacked up. These, these Markor, they, they know who they are. They can feel themselves, but they can no longer control themselves because of these robot brains. So we're, we're realizing that Vader and the other members of the Schism Imperial are gathering power for Lord Vader to give him more power to eventually challenge Emperor Palpatine. So Tantaza's like, all right, Farbarian, what sort of power did you bring to increase our Lord Vader's stock? And we do learn that the, the whole mission to start there was a ruse by Farbarian. He was just kidding around with the Baron. He, he did the ticket stuff on purpose to get an audience with the Baron so he could essentially steal some data. And that data we learn is that Slandarv is working on a battle droid for the Empire. That's right, the, the Empire was eventually going to move on to B3s or battle droid 3s. So Vader takes his forces to this plant and starts to jack it up just like a good Vader would do. Uh, Slandarv's like, what the heck's going on, Farbarian? And then they kind of spring the trap on him. Like, listen, man, we're taking this over. We want your droids. You need to reprogram them so they're obedient to Lord Vader, not the Emperor. And Slandarv's like, well, I'm, a, I'm loyal to the Emperor. So he goes nuts, try to get away. He takes Farbarian. They get cornered in kind of like a safety room. And he's like, hey, man, let's make a deal. We can blow this whole place up, including all the families that live around the factory. But you and I will be safe in this room. And Farbarian's like, you know what, dude? Whatever. I'm in the Schism Imperial. Plah! Blap someone right in the gut. See you later. And then we start to see that both Vader and Sly Moore are starting to experience some form of pain. Migraines, if you will. And we learn later on that they're being affected by the, the Markor. They can actually feel these rebels. Remember, that they haven't gone to the dark side. They're being forced into it. But they can feel these rebels screaming out in terrible fear and anger of being trapped. And it's almost too much for Sly Moore to handle. And they're like, well, hey, Vader's more powerful in the Force than you. How's he able to handle this? And she's just like, hey, listen, it's Lord Vader. He, I'm, he probably doesn't even care about their pain. He's just rolling with it. It's fueling him that their fear, their anger is giving him more power. And then we learn that all of this is a, a big, uh, big ruse by Sly Moore. She's actually working with both the Emperor and Vader. And she's telling both of them the truth. She's like, hey, Emperor, I'm, I'm doing this with Vader, helping him to gather power. And she's also telling Vader, like, hey, I'm going to go to the Emperor and tell him what we're doing. And the Sidious is like, hey, you know, you, you get it. You understand the Sith. He's like, I don't think Vader understands the Sith yet because he used to be a Jedi and he's not very good at deceiving anyone except himself. So Sidious is like, go ahead and let him gather his strength and bring it to me. The issue closes out with more running into Enric Pride. Yes, that Pride from The Rise of Skywalker from a few issues back, who is the next power player to join Lord Vader's Schism Imperial, or is he actually just joining the Emperor's Schism Imperial? Hey, if you like this type of content, make sure to sub to the Star Wars Time Show on YouTube, socials, and podcasts.